Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Integrator, and today we're going to talk about skins and overlays, or overlays and skins, depending on which way you want to look at it. Um, let's take a look at this beautiful Juno 106 front panel. It's actually in really nice shape, uh, except that it does have some very, very minor blemishes. And uh, maybe they don't show up so well on the camera, I'm not sure. But let me rotate this sideways a little bit. And over here I want to point out, see this blemish here? That actually was uh, a chip on the faceplate which then was exposed bare metal and it started to get rusty. Uh, and then on the edges of these sliders here there was some exposure on a couple of them. You know, it sort of bubbled up a little bit and started to uh, rust. So let me just, uh, where's that guy? Yeah, there we are. Right over here. Just a little bit. Now what I've done is I've covered them with uh, primer paint and I've buffed them down a little bit and it's not that noticeable but as you can probably tell to somebody who's really really fussy this is still very irritating. Right? Even though it is a very nice panel I mean there's some imperfections. Likewise too let's have a look at this. This is another example. A more extreme case. This is a uh, front panel, you may recognize this from one of the Poly 6s I dismembered. Dismembered? Dismantled? Someone corrected me on that and said, it's dismantled, not dismembered. Well, to me, these are alive, so they're dismembered if I take them apart. And uh, right now, this is in suspended animation. It's waiting to be re reborn. But look at this. Um, that's a serious bunch of scraping going on there. This case has been through a lot. And uh, what can you do to actually get them beautiful again, short of repainting them, which of course um, customsynth.co.uk is a great place to send stuff if you want to get it professionally refinished. I recommend their services. Um, but anyway, all that notwithstanding, what else do you do? And the answer is you can skin it or you can overlay it. And uh, let's take a look at our friend Lacken over here. And if you might remember Mr. Lacken, he's the guy in Sweden who made it a fantastic demo of the Kiwi 3P. And in so doing, you look at this thing and he's actually got what looks like a really, really cool looking, beautifully painted Kiwi 3P front panel. And what in fact happened is, is that he created a skin for this. And when I say skin, sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, Kiwi 3P is actually a pretty cool upgrade if you want to buy that. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I'm affiliated with Kiwi Technics these days. This is a great video. I'll uh, link to it. If you want to watch it in its entirety, by all means do. It's a great demo. So Lacken, this is uh, L-A-C-K-A-N is his username, and I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i put the link. It, this is really, really cool. Not only, and I point out, not only does he skin his uh, JX3P, but he also skinned a Behringer BCR, and you can't even tell that it's a Behringer BCR. It looks like something from back in the day. He put wooden end blocks on it and uh, it's amazing. Anyway, inventive and very talented man. But his skin design, now that I lifted that out of the way, is replicated right here in a skin by Synth Skins. And Synth Skins is actually one of my little projects that I've been trying to get going for quite some time. And uh, I'll just let you in on some of the details. Uh, I found it to be a challenging thing to make a synth skin and uh, this is just using Lacken's design which he made available he, you can get it actually as a PDF uh, but what you got to do is you got to print it and then you have to cut it and then you have to apply it and then you have to cut it some more in order to put things like you know radiator slots and the slots for the controls and so on and so forth those all have to be done by hand and uh, in this case what we did was we experimented and we used external sign vinyl uh, and this is actually a floor grade that you, you would actually print. So if you have flooring with graphics on it, which I figured was robust enough for the application at hand. Except the problem is, even with all of that in mind, this is still just solvent printed ink um, on a white vinyl, an initially white vinyl, and it's been printed with solvent ink and uh, one of the reasons why you don't see synthskins.com open for business with me selling uh, these these guys as kits is because I, I did the math and it was going to, you know, I probably have to sell them for a hundred bucks. 
that much just to to break even really on the labor and the materials cost plus you know all of the stuff that might not work out while you're doing the printing and then what would happen is you the user would get uh, a very complicated sticker which you'd have to wrap around that's the thing about a skin a skin actually completely skins the original just like your cell phone skin uh, only this is more complicated than a cell phone obviously uh, and then when you're done you have skinned the piece of hardware and I'm just thinking I don't know what the longevity is like on these and I also don't know how well they respond to scuffs and dings and bangs I suppose you could buy another skin and reskin it if you ever got um, board but I, I'm just looking at the amount of cost involved and I ended up sort of putting that on hold I figured one day when we could get it all figured out now I'm telling you all this because fortunately a new white horse has charged onto the scene and there's in fact a solution at hand a really nice one uh, and uh, the name of the company is synth graphics and uh, no relation to synth skins whatsoever. And synth graphics has come in with overlays. Now, basically, this is it. I've got my package. I haven't even opened it yet. So this is my initial impression of the synth skin. I'm sorry, of the synth graphics overlay. And uh, as you can see, it's these are 3M and they're industrially manufactured. So we're not talking about something that was printed that you have to cut yourself. Or even in my case, I actually have an industrial uh, vinyl cutter uh, that I was going to use to prepare the skins. But still, they'd still, it would still be a nightmare. You have to pick out little bits and pieces, and then you've got to lay it all out. And if you get the skin even slightly wrong, big trouble. So what do we got? This is an overlay. All right, let's have a look. Wow. All right. Wow. Okay. This is a black overlay done in the Jupiter style. So uh, this is one where you, if you want your, your 106 to look like a Jupiter. <laughs> oh, wow. And, and this is, uh, of course, the standard gray. Um... I'm I'm really impressed. I am really impressed. Uh, take a look at that. Okay, now this stuff here already has the finish on it. Um, and let's compare it with the, the prototype synth skin. The prototype synth skin has a finish but that finish is intrinsic to the material. It's not actually finished over. Uh, I digress here, but let's let's take a look. Maybe you can tell. Maybe you can't. I'm trying to get this across with the camera, but um, what I can see here is that this is a heavier over. It's a heavy overlay compared to what the synth skin is. The synth skin is, despite the fact that it's as heavy a vinyl as we we could find, it's still rather thin. Um, this overlay, on the other hand, has a ruggedness to it that I don't think that the synth skin could possibly have. And so I'm going to put this down over here. And the price on these, of course, is really reasonable. And look, it's all perfectly cut, too. Machine cut. And beautifully self-adhesive. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's have a look here. Uh, I'm going to take this black one and just set it aside. Do a little bit later on on that on this one. I think you'll be impressed with what, what we can do with the black one. But let's have a look at this guy over here. Um, all right, this is live without nets, friends. So I guess the first thing we need to do, just to test fit this, is to pull off all of these slider caps. Let's take these off now. I'm not going to apply it yet because, of course, there are instructions in it. And, you know, I'm, I am actually an engineer by trade, so um, I actually read instructions. I recommend you do so, too. Manuals can be your friend. As long as they're not too boring, they can definitely be your friend. Okay. All right. So, test fit. Okay. 
Okay, as a, as, a, as a test fit, that's about as easy as it gets. And I'm just going to put the um, some of these caps back in place, just to act as sort of a, a peg to sort of hold, them, hold down the skin, just for the sake of demonstration, I suppose. Doesn't look like there's a clearance problem, which is really good. Uh, if the skin was too thick, and this is of course, uh, some people have said, oh, well, why don't they make them magnetic, you know, with a magnetic underlay? That would be a really cool idea, with the exception of the fact that that would add so much thickness to put enough magnetic material underneath that, in fact, you'd end up with uh, such height that the, the sliders wouldn't be able to ride properly on their shafts and you'd have an issue. So, this is why, if you ask, um, what's the situation? All right. Okay, now again, remember this is just the, the dem, you know, a, a quick, I'm just fixing these sliders down so that I can do the rest of the demo. Um, by no means do I suggest that you should just put it on with the slider caps and leave it like that. At least not at this stage. Okay, great. Now, let's see here. Can you dig it? All right, I'm going to take the camera off the stand and we're going to go in for a closer look. Here we go. All right, so if we have this actually down, this is what you end up with. I think that is really good. Yeah. All right. Let's have a look at the holes. You know, uh, as they say, the devil is in the details. And these details have been devilishly apportioned for. This is... Hey, listen. As someone who does this kind of thing a lot, you know, graphic design and... Uh, working with panels and layouts. So this is exceptional work. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And um, let's have a look over here. I'm just going to get my mitts all over this guy. And then back over here. You know, it doesn't seem to be any more uh, fingerprint friendly. Yeah, looks it looks really nice. It looks really resistant. I love the way that the light uh, just sort of refracts off of it in kind of a matte way, without getting too shiny. Uh, one of the problems with this um, cell pattern that we used on the skin was that, of course, it ends up sort of refracting a lot of light and it makes it harder to read the, the legending. So over here, this is nice, large, friendly. The typography is flawless. Yeah, this is, um, this is a killer product. And that uh, right now I think his rate is, what, $65 on his website, synthgraphics.com. I don't think that you can go wrong with this. Now, one of the suggestions I made by the way, in talking to Synth Graphics was to suggest that they also make a straight Juno 106 overlay and a straight Poly 6 overlay because as much as we all love these upgrades, some people are going to have an original that has an ugly scarred face and are going to wish that they had um, you know, a way of restoring that panel uh, affordably. Now when you think about it, at $65 you could just have one of these down and completely restore the appearance of a, an original panel. So um, I heartily recommend <laughs> you keep watching SynthGraphics.com. I'm not going to make any promises for them because I don't I don't own the company. I don't run the company. I just I only just met the owner um, the other day on the phone. So um, 
Yeah, uh, the only thing I can think of is that your, your buttons that normally would have ridden above the surface are now flush. But aside from that, and that's actually not a bad thing, it's just a, a difference. So, um, my goodness. Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed. All right, so there you have it. Uh, this is the Kiwi 106 overlay by SynthGraphics.com. It's $65. It is a steal. It gets the Syntegrator Key Buy Award. So go for it. And uh, we'll follow up with what we're going to do with that black skin uh, in the next installment.